and welcome back to our fourth episode of the Throwback Review Series. I'm uh, Raj on XperiaBlog.net and today we are staying in the year 2003. Um, but actually this time we're going to have a look at the Sony Ericsson C1010, the first UMTS 3G mobile phone by Sony Ericsson. It was actually announced early in 2003 but has been launched or has been available to the market only in late 2003. Main reason is that no operator back then, early in 2003, was supporting 3G networks or was making it available to the public. So it was kind of a, a long wait for people who wanted to get this phone and again the reason why we focus on this one is because it's obviously first the UMTS 3G phone by Sony Ericsson and it's also the first phone that for that reason supports video calls. The phone is pretty bulky but very nicely done. It has um, memory stick dual support. The big ones back then, that's a 32 megabytes one. featured an outside, outside display on the clamshell with the most important information. You didn't have to open the phone to check if there was any calls or any uh, text messages or emails coming. They were all displayed on this um, four color grayscale, not, not four color, but grayscale um, little display uh, on the outside. The phone also was uh, equipped with a USB port, as you can see here. Although the phone was not able to be charged with that, it still had the old charger um, together with the infrared port down here. It was used for data transfer to connect it to your computer. Um, but also that's you know, the first appearance of a kind of a standard um, interface on the Sony Ericsson phones. So let's have a look at a bit more details as usual. Uh, the phone's key highlights. Obviously, uh, highlight besides the faster internet with UMTS 3G was the video call feature. And we're going to have a look at that right here. It's in kind of a demo mode here. So it starts up. You can see Ibo and me behind the camera. Uh, Ibo, by the way, a. Um, um, artificial intelligence kind of toy a dog by by Sony which has been discontinued so uh, obviously on the lower left corner you can see yourself the camera that takes that picture is uh, located down here and the bigger picture would be for the other side of the video call uh, obviously that's nothing right now but you're always able to switch cameras around so now we're looking at, if I remove my finger, we're looking at the picture of the camera on the back of the phone. So you could do that, you could switch easily be between the two cameras. And um, you could also stop the camera so the other side doesn't see you. To switch pictures which you just saw, you could mirror the image. And here again is the demo clip. You can turn it on or off if you don't have someone to video call, like me in this moment. So that's that. That was really the, the big selling um, or marketing feature of UMTS 3G networks. It didn't really materialize uh, until later, in probably 2004, 2005, with more and more phones becoming video call capable. But Sony Ericsson was one of the first ones who had that in their portfolio. Other than that, um, not really a lot of new things compared to, for example, the T610. Uh, internet, as I said, it's faster speeds, camera interface, not much new here as well. So. Connectivity, no, nothing surprising also back then, Bluetooth, infrared, and it obviously also supported um, SyncML support the Java applications and games. 
It supported picture messaging introduced with the T68 email client as well. There is a media player, so the phone was actually one of the first ones that was able as well to not play just um, MIDI files but also um, MP3 files like this one which kind pre-installed just have a quick listen to that one not really a ringtone you want to hear your neighbor in the bus uh, using uh, but that was kind of a, a new thing and also obviously um, that was um, made possible due to the extension, uh, memory extension. So for the first time you could really use your mobile phone also as MP3 player on the go. At least your Sony Ericsson phone. And that's about it for the C1010. I um, just want to give you a quick look at something you might not have seen before. It's a, as you can see, a 3G test unit by Sony Ericsson. In fact, it's actually by Ericsson. But I'm assuming uh, that's kind of what the C1010 is based on. Again, if you compare the looks of it, thankfully the battery has become much thinner and integrated. And also the C1010 got a, a camera. Uh, here on this on this engineering sample we also have a memory slot USB port available as well um, head phone headset check and um, a specific charging uh, charging dock the phone itself it didn't have the video call features because there was no camera or is no camera so it's really, I'm assuming it's really, it has been used to just field test the UMTS 3G network. And also pretty um, rudimentary in design. And as I mentioned before, it's actually, it looks like it's uh, coming from the Ericsson side of the joint venture. Because of the battery, you can see it's an Ericsson battery. All right, that was it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.